Hello and welcome to my new video. My name is Alex. So today I will show you how to use WireGuard in an easy to manage and easy to use way. Uh, there are a few prerequisites for this installation. You will need to have a uh, home server, which is running a Linux distribution, preferably Ubuntu, because Ubuntu is easy to use. So why do you need to run this? So let's say that you have a uh, home router which doesn't support uh, VPN tunnels. Or you have a home, home router which doesn't have very good performance with uh, VPN uh, tunnels. So uh, this was my case. My home router is very good, but it is uh, lacking one key point. This is the VPN connection. And I need VPN connections to access my uh, home server resources. So let's go. I will show you how to install and how to use and how to manage the WireGuard on uh, your Linux server. <clears throat> so in my case, I'm using uh, Proxmox. And on Proxmox, we'll create a container. Uh, in Proxmox, containers are um, really powerful. They will consume a lot less resources than uh, a full VM. So before setting up the container, we need to go to the to your uh, local uh, storage disks, go to CT templates, and you need to download an uh, Ubuntu template. You can choose whatever Ubuntu version do you want from uh, here. Just click on it, download. It will download, and you are good to go. So after the loading the template, let's just create a container. I will call it WireGuard and I'll use a very strong password, which is AVC123. We'll select our template. 8 gig of uh, disk space is more than enough. One CPU core is OK. You can leave memory at 512 megs. That should be fine. And we'll need to assign an IP address. It is a good idea to assign a static IP address. Uh, I know for a fact that 2550 IP address in my uh, home subnet is free. So after you find a free uh, IP address, you need to add also the gateway. So this is my gateway. and click finish. The container will uh, install and uh, go up very quickly because this is a lightweight container. So it is already up. Just log into it and use your password. Okay, so the second step is to go to the um, Docker uh, site and uh, just search on Google install Docker engine on Ubuntu. Scroll down till you see the this section install using the apt repository. Just copy this and paste it directly into your LXC CLI. So now that we added our apt repository, it is safe to go and just install actual Docker components. Okay, so that the Docker components are now installed, uh, we'll need one more thing, which is uh, Git. So if you do not have the git installed on your Ubuntu distribution, just type apt install git. It is already installed on mine and it came pre-installed with uh, the LXC container. So I will just go to the opt folder. This is where I like to store my uh, containers. We'll go to the GitHub and we will uh, use the Peter Lewis um, WireGuard Easy uh, package. Thank you, Peter, for creating such an amazing package. So the, the next step is just to clone the repository here. 
in our opt folder. As you can see, we downloaded the WireGuard Easy files and just go inside the WireGuard Easy folder. And the next thing to do is to modify the Docker Compose files. So we'll open the Docker Compose um, configuration file and we will change the language from we'll change the English uh, the language to English. The second thing that we'll have to modify is to modify the WireGuard WireGuard host. This is basically the public IP address, or if you have a um, dynamic DNS, you can use it uh, also here. In my case, I'm using a dynamic DNS, but if you have a static IP address, you can, you can just use that. So let's say that most of us will use dynamic DNS. So you just add your dynamic DNS uh, address here. Also, we might want to change the password, which uh, is the password for the web management page. I will use my strong password. The second uh, option is the port. This is the web management port. Uh, you can use it uh, as default. And we want also to change the WireGuard port. So I'm already using 51820, so let's use 51822. WireGuard default address. This is the address which you are uh, you, which you are getting when you connect uh, via the WireGuard tunnel. You can leave it as default or you can change. Actually, I, I like to leave it uh, default because it is not affecting anyhow my uh, connection. The next thing is the WireGuard allowed IPs. So this is where you control what your uh, VPN device have uh, access to. For example, if you use uh, all zero, you will have all your traffic will flow through the WireGuard tunnel. So actually, this is a kind of uh, secure. For example, if you are outside your home, you are connected to a sketchy VPN, uh, sketchy Wi-Fi. Just Connect your WireGuard and all of your traffic will flow encrypted back to your house. So it actually, it's pretty good for privacy when you're out in the wild. Also, you can, if you want to access only some resources via the WireGuard, you can use your home network. If you have multiple networks, just uh, use comma separated values. For this test, we'll send everything to through our uh, WireGuard tunnel. Okay, so we changed everything, but we didn't change also the ports on the container itself because this configuration which you are seeing here, it's uh, just for the QR code and for the configuration file. So if you actually want to change your WireGuard to function with a different port, just find this line with UDP connection, which is the actual wire, wire guard traffic, and change it to the port which you set up above. The TCP ports, you don't need to change them because it's just for the wire guard management access uh, page. If you want, you can also change them. It's up to you. So now while you are in this folder, just issue docker compose up minus D. And docker will uh, start pulling the necessary image. It will take just a while depending on uh, your internet connection, but it should be pretty fast overall. So you see the container was started, so um, Let's issue docker ps and see if your container is running. So as you can see, the container is up and running. So we can go and log in to 
the management interface. Let's uh, check the port. It is 51821. And just like that, you are in the WireGuard management page. So type your super secret and strong password. It's ABC123. And you are in your uh, dashboard. You can change it by black or dark team or white team, however you like, and just click new client. Name the client, home connection, for example. And just like that, you have your first client configured. If you are using a mobile, just scan this QR code. If you want to add it on your computer, just uh, just uh, download the configuration file open with your uh, favorite text editor and as you can see you have all the configuration here all the configuration that you need just copy this configuration if you want to add it on uh, a computer go to manage tunnels add empty tunnel just delete everything and paste it and basically you are good to go if you add a name also so i'll call it test so basically this will not work because i'm um, using a example uh, dynamic dns but i have this uh, my home connection which is uh, which is working uh, very well so we can test it. I can connect it uh, to my to my mobile. As you can see, it is uh, connected. And if I can uh, try to load an uh, internal page, it will uh, it will work just fine. And basically, this is everything that you need to do. After that, you'll have to go to your router uh, web page and uh, connect a uh, configure a um, port forwarding rule. So that port forwarding rule basically should forward all internet traffic de destined to the port that you configured, and it should point to your uh, internal uh, IP address, and you should enable the UDP protocol because uh, VPN is working via the UDP. So thank you. I hope you like it. If you have questions, just uh, type it in, uh, type those in the comments. I will answer to you. And don't forget to like, share and uh, subscribe. Thank you. I will see you in the next one.